Good morning and a very warm welcome, if a somewhat damp one, uh, to Sarajevo uh, on behalf of the European Foundation Centre to this opening plenary of the annual General Assembly and Conference, where our theme this year is Rethinking Europe, Solidarity, Civil Society and Political Governance. And thank you so much for battling through the storms and the raging winds uh, to be with us. Some people are still on their way. Uh, they've been stuck in airports in Vienna and in Berlin, uh, but we hear reliable reports that planes have taken off. So more of them hopefully will be joining us as the morning progresses. My name is Jackie Davis. I have the privilege of moderating all our plenary sessions at the conference uh, as we discuss uh, the theme of this year's event, which is rethinking Europe, as I mentioned, and we talk about it by talking about peace, by talking about political governance, and by talking about solidarity. Later in this session, we're going to reflect on the first of those, peace. Uh, and we're going to talk about Europe's role as a guarantor of peace, its responsibilities, strategies, and challenges, and absolutely crucially, what role you as foundations can play in contributing to fostering peace and reconciliation. Uh, but before that, let's find out a little bit more about why we're here, why we're talking about what we're talking about. I am delighted uh, to welcome on stage, and please do come up as I introduce you, Eric Rudeng, director of the Frit Ord Foundation and chair of the European Foundation Center. Welcome, Eric. Ingrid Harm, CEO of the Robert Bosch Stiftung and chair of the 2014 AGA and Conference Committee. Ingrid. And our host, ladies and gentlemen, Zoran Puljic, director of the Mosaic Foundation, a community development foundation here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Zoran, a little cheer for you there. Make yourselves at home wherever you want to sit. Um, so, as I say, what I'd like to use these first few minutes of the event to do is just to find out why we're here and why the topic that we're discussing was chosen. Ingrid, could I perhaps start with you? Um, why? Did you decide, as chair of the conference committee, why did the committee decide that this was the place you wanted to be in 2014? Yeah, we really fight it a lot to get all of us here, and we're still fighting against the weather. Um, Sarajevo seemed to us the clear place to be here in 2014, for there had been that starting of the First World War from here, that assassination, of the Air Prince Ferdinand and his wife, right around the corner here. Um, and so many suffering has followed. Uh, uh, the First World War and then the Second World War. So we thought this might be a place where we should reconsider or rethink Europe. Uh, the second reason is that Sarajevo shows us uh, how important it is to prevent conflict how important it is to find reconciliation afterwards. It shows uh, the suffering of stupid conflict. It shows the creativity and the power of the people here. Um, and it shows how an important role civil society is playing in this. Okay. Thank you very much. And, and Eric, on that topic, Rethinking Europe, um, what did you mean? by the title Rethinking Europe, uh, and why did you choose it for this year? We thought that with the uh, growing importance of foundations, we cannot just plan for our little institution ourselves. Uh, we, uh, I think, are mature now in the foundation world to uh, reflect and analyze uh, that part of the world where we uh, operate, and with the um, decline of very much in Europe and also the, the decline of trust in the political systems, in politicians, especially among young people and the unemployed, there is certainly a need for a, a rethinking of politics, of social economy and alternatives to many of the institutional arrangements which we have in Europe. And that focus on peace on political governance, we're going to talk about the mood in Europe when we talk tomorrow about the European elections, mm. we're going to talk about solidarity. You're feeling those are the key elements if we are to restore that uh, trust. Certainly, and also analyze ourselves. Uh, we um, represent enormous uh, capital and intellectual resources and uh, 
uh, how this shall be concentrated into more ambitious um, projects and ways of communication is extremely important. Thank you, Zoran. If I could ask you, that beautiful, beautiful choir, uh, I want to ask you in a minute what, Sar what it means to Sarajevo to be hosting uh, this event, but first, could you tell us a little bit more about the choir? Even mm -hmm. the name is so very important, and about the song they were singing. Uh, Anadolka song, it is, uh, as you said, a song sang in seven different countries here in the region. Uh, actually, it, it has a very deep meaning. Uh, Pont Anima means uh, bridge uh, to the soul. And it was founded by a very uh, amazing individual who's actually with us here today, Fraiva Markovic, who, uh, yeah, one big applause for him. We'll ask for more applauses later. Um, he lost his father during the war uh, by, by the Bosnian army. Um, and, um, and rather than, uh, of course, he felt deeply, deeply sorry and felt a lot of pain. But rather than feeling hate, he reached down to his soul and found love. I found love for all the people in this country and he founded this amazing choir. So people singing in the choir, they're all, all ethnic backgrounds of four religions. Uh, and they're here to promote, as you said, creativity, but also trust uh, between the Bosnian people uh, today. And I think they represent what this conference is about. It's about uh, going back, uh, learning the lessons, but also being uh, uh, very positive about the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can we say hi once again? Applause for so, Fry. Yeah, absolutely. Can absolutely. you stand up, please? Fry? <laughs> please stand up. There he is. If Take you want a bow. To talk about peace, there he is. Right there at the back. Thank you so much. Um, and Zoran, in terms of, of, we heard from Ingrid there about why the Foundation World wanted to come to Sarajevo. What does it mean to you to play host to them? Uh, first of all, a lot of responsibility uh, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and a lot of stress because of the weather. Uh, this is like, uh, maybe we should add the weather component to our movie, History of, uh, of Bosnia and Herzegovina and Sarajevo. But at the same time, it, it, we have a lot of pride in this because we are a, a, a fairly small foundation uh, from Bosnia and Herzegovina, 12 years old, but we are now hosting the, the, the prime event where foundations of the world meet, discuss challenges and the future of, of Europe and, and, and the surrounding. Thank you. And, and just if I could ask, I'll say through these three days we have our plenary sessions. I've mentioned the topics all the time with this Rethinking Europe in the forefront of our minds, but there are so many other events going on, so many parallel side discussions, so much visits, so many things. Ingrid, for you, what do you hope will come out of this three days? What do you hope people will go away from Sarajevo on Saturday lunchtime? What do you want them to go away with? In a way, um, North Ireland had been a role model for this event today and tomorrow and the day after. And afterwards, we really would like uh, foundations to be more on the side of, yes, we have to go for solutions. We have to face the real problems. We have to deal, for example, with youth unemployment. Uh, Sarajevo is so close to the major capitals of Europe and it looks so far away when you are, let's say, in Berlin. You don't think of Sarajevo as a next door and a war next door had happened and another could emerge. Uh, so Europe really has to deal with major challenges and uh, foundations should be a force that it's going for solutions. Thank you, and, and Eric, also exploring where foundations can collaborate, can work, not just with each other, but also uh, with other actors in civil society, with governments, uh, with other people in, in playing this role. Is that important for you? Those connections are developed? Uh, yes, and you can have many good ideas yourselves, but uh, it's uh, um, really fascinating to come together in this way, several hundreds of uh, colleagues uh, from uh, many nations and uh, suddenly feel uh, you have the same idea. There is a like-mindedness and, and uh, this is what I really hope everyone here will experience, that they come across by some chance encounter or in the bus or anything, uh, people uh, who simply will become important for them as so many people here became important for me 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And for you, Zoran, apart from perhaps hoping that the rain will stop by the end of the three days, <laughs> uh, what is your hope for the next three days? I really believe that Sarajevo is a good example of, of people finding ways to overcome 
difficult trauma from the past, and we can learn all from that, and we can really send a positive message to the world through foundations and find common language in terms of how we can actually deal with future challenges. And on that upbeat note, ladies and gentlemen, will you join me in thanking Zora and Ingrid Thank and you. Eric very much and indeed. Thank you to all three. Do, do, Did do you, you want allow to say me to, yeah? to say mosaic is the best example how to overcome all those traumas and uh, how to really face the future. So you, you are doing a great, great job. Thank you very much. Shining example, Mosaic <laughs> Foundation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Zoran. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie.